some city life behind and go live on a ranch? You may not know it, but everyone who pays a water bill locally owns a piece of a vast ranching empire. Southern Nevada Water Authority has spent huge sums of public money to gobble up a string of rural ranches because of the water underneath them. The SNWA claims the ranches are operating in the black, but a whistleblower has come forward to tell a much different story. She spoke only to the I-team's George Knapp. He's here now. Well, as you know, we were reported previously about how much was spent to acquire the ranches, and it's quite a pile of dough. But until now, we've never had anyone on the inside willing to tell us what goes on up there. Deborah Rivero worked for the Water District for many years and was a valued employee. But when she started working as an office assistant at the ranches, she realized she'd entered a world unto itself, one that we co-owners never get to see. This picturesque vista is all yours, as far as the eye can see. This is one of seven rustic ranches you own in Spring Valley. That's your barn, your truck, your horses and goats. Over there is a big stack of your hay, right next to your irrigation equipment. You, meaning the public, are in the ranching business, thanks to a spending spree by the Southern Nevada Water Authority, a splurge that is far from over. SNWA plunked down close to $80 million to buy a string of ranches in Spring Valley, tens of thousands of acres, plus cows and sheep and farm equipment. Money was no object. As the I-Team first reported, SNWA paid many times the market value for the ranches. El Tejon Ranch, valued at $1.1 million, went for $32 million. The Harbeck Ranch, now headquarters for SNWA's empire, with a market value of a quarter million dollars, fetched close to $5 million from the water agency. I did everything from paying the bills to weighing the trucks that came in and out of the ranch. Um, every penny that came in and every penny that came out I was responsible for. Deborah Rivero worked for the Water District in Las Vegas for 17 years before moving north to run the office for the ranches. From the beginning, she says, she was struck by how little oversight there was by SNWA. The whole operation is very secretive. Um, they don't encourage anybody to come up and take a look and tour the place and it's just all very secretive. How secretive? Rivero says the first ranch manager who took the job after his ranch was purchased for six times its market value was given a year's salary when he left with the condition that he keep quiet. Outspoken critic Hank Vogler, who owns one of the few area ranches still in private hands, was offered a consulting contract if he would button his lip. Former White Pine DA Richard Sears landed the best deal of all. He agreed to drop his planned opposition to the water grab in exchange for a brand new well on his ranch, plus irrigation equipment, plus nearly 400 acre feet of water per year, with a value of more than $1.5 million. And that's all in the contract. Just so he'd be quiet. Just so he would be quiet and withdraw the protest. I think the worst thing is the payoffs for people to be quiet, for to stop protesting. I think that's the most horrendous thing I've seen. The ranch operations bled money for a few years, but now, according to SNWA's accounting, they're in the black, earning $260,000 last year from the sales of hay and beef. Neighboring ranchers scoff at the math, saying SNWA's deep pockets mean this ranching operation doesn't face the same challenges as an actual ranch standing on its own. What other rancher has nine committee meetings to pick a design for a brand, for instance, or has a government sugar daddy to repair equipment or buy new trucks? Although the ranch has supposedly made a profit, the cost to the public keep going up. The operating budget was $500,000 a year back in 2007, was bumped to $750,000 in 08, and then to $850,000 last year. Expenses that would count against a real rancher's bottom line are not included, Rivero says. Exam for example, SNWA says it sold a million dollars worth of hay. That doesn't include all the fertilizer, all the irrigation equipment, the employees' time, everything else. Rivero says she was told by the current manager and others about suspected widespread theft by employees. Cows, sheep, equipment, even saddles that disappeared but didn't show up on any ledger. And I kept bringing up, you know, that, hey, there's unethical stuff going on up here. And the Vegas office didn't seem to want to hear it. They, they didn't want 
to talk to me about it. They didn't want me to say anything. Hundreds of Veteran rancher Dean Baker, an opponent of the water grab, says all the public money being plowed into these ranches will be wasted once the pumping begins because Spring Valley will be sucked dry. It'll kill the ranches when they pump it. If they don't know that, then they're way stupider than I think they are. Rivera told us a lot more about the operation of the ranches, and we will report that information in the days ahead. She left the ranch because of what she said was a hostile work environment and has filed a complaint with federal authorities. In the coming days, we'll have explosive details about her allegations. This afternoon, a spokesperson for SNWA sent us a statement saying senior officials from the agency are actively involved with managing the ranches and make regular visits and inspections. The full st st statement can be viewed on our our website. One other footnote, the SNWA board voted last week to suspend its regular meetings. They said we don't have enough to talk about during our monthly meetings, so we'll just meet every other month. Thank you.